So you just make your way up into here. And this is where you start it. So make sure you got you know, your frost armor, you know, your intellect. The one thing that I found super helpful is actually having nature resist. So I got nature resist ring. Um, the rest of my gear is pretty straightforward. I want to get the nature resist trinket from Noxius because it's just 10 extra nature resist and you don't really need this at all because you're just blizzarding. Um, rest of my boots is just basic, or gear is just basically normal shit. But then I, I did buy this because the 15 nature resist is nice and it's just a good stat stick. So it's just good to have. Otherwise, you both basically just want stats. Like, the damage you do isn't a big deal. It's how you control your blizzards and how you pull stuff. So, uh, you want your mana gems? I usually have two just in case. In case I have to re kite, but damn magic, ice barrier. Then, right here, you're going to want to pull both of these. And then blink. So, all my blinks are very you know, strategic. They're all done at the same time every time because you need to otherwise you'll get hit too much and it sucks really I you shouldn't take much damage if any me when doing this so that and then rank one fire blast those counter spell this dude and then you blink right here and then you just run if they get a little close you can like Nova them if you really want to, or Kona Cold, but if your Ice Barrier holds, you should be fine. Like, you don't really need to reapply it unless you want to, but I just do this. And then I blink right here, and right now you'll get enough separation from them to where you don't, uh, you don't gotta do much. So you just run. And these bros uh, apparently have a chance to drop Edge Masters, which is uh, pretty nice. But yeah, I don't really blink again. There's not really a need. I mean, if you want to, you can. I'll just blink anyways. Because um, right up here, you'll see that they, they kind of stop. For whatever reason. I don't know why. But usually I have enough separation to where it's not a big deal. So you see a little stop, like, right here. I, <laughs> I don't know why. But then you just you blink over here, and then they start moving again. So after that blink, I use my frost armor to kind of help my uh, MP5 a little bit. So you just kind of, those will follow you, and you just keep running. Uh, so I wand this Shambler, pull him over to this group, and I know all of them together. It resisted. Not a big deal. It's kind of annoying. Uh, these Dryads you never want to pull because they do ranged attack. Um, they don't aggro with anything else in here, so it's not a big deal. Um, you want to make sure, like, you pull those slimes without pulling the dryads. So I do that. I fire blast. I blink here. Counterspell this dude to pull him. Ice barrier again here. And then I frost nova all them right there. It just gives you a little bit of separation so you don't lose a lot of your armor and stuff. Rank one fire blast pull the shambler. Arcan explosion pull that. Blink here over these dudes. Uh, these you can pull, but I'm fairly certain that they don't follow you because they're super slow. Um, and then you rank one that, and I rank one and pull both of these dudes. So this one sometimes padding is padding weird. I'll try to get it if I can, but I counterspell that far group, and I blink here. So your frost barrier, you know, your frost ice armor should be you know, about half right now, I think, usually. But you can reapply it if you need to. I do. Rank one fire blast, pull this. So right here, I blink around this corner, right here, and then I pull this dude with a rank one frost bolt. Arcane explosion, that stomper, and then I just drop down. Now you don't have to evocate here. You probably will get mana back with magic absorption, but I do anyways, just because you kind of have time right now. Uh, so I run up to the top of here after I jump down, rank one frost bolt this dude, and I just run. Sometimes there's here, I just, I'll blink right through it. Everything else is still falling here. So you run over here to the room to the right. I redo my frost armor. So I rank one frost bolt this dude, rank one frost bolt this dude, and then counterspell that last one. And then I just start running again. 
Arcane Explosion him. Arcane Explosion him. I blink here. Rank 1 Fire Blast that dude. Arcane Explosion that dude. And right here is where I use my Nova. And, you know, my Ice Ray just fell off, but it's not a big deal. You don't really need to apply one right now. You will will in a minute. Um, so right here you'll see how they're all kind of coming together. Right here on this tree is where I use my, uh, my Blizzard, Rank 1 Blizzard. To just kind of keep them all together. You'll see, you know, so they're all coming around. So it looks like that other group kind of pulled a little bit. It's not a big deal. I blink here. Use my... Uh, ice Barrier. So th these little dudes, like, they're always going to stop and try to cast on you, so you kind of have time. So if they're in the lead, it's not a big deal. Uh, they run up here. There's this, this Stomper sometimes that'll be patrolling around. He's super annoying. Um, it just happens. And then right there, so I accidentally pulled this guy, but they're not a big deal. So right here you want to rank one Blizzard right here to slow them as much as you can. If th some get by, it's not a huge deal, but you want to try to keep the melee things off you. So my counter spell this dude, and then you just kind of run over here. You see, like right here, you can get a break. So I nova there, and I blink. So right now, like my pull already right now isn't isn't great. Usually I have a lot more separation, but it's not a big deal. So even on a pull where you're not doing great, it's it's not a big deal. So you run over here, stand right here, and you just rank one blizzard right here to just kind of. Get them all round up. And you just jump off. So you'll notice that they're all going to start kind of coming around. And you run back down the hallway. So now you kind of backtrack a bit. But this is where you pull these. You have time. So this is where you pull these extra mobs. So you rank one frostbolt that dude. Arcane explosion these two. Rank one frostbolt this dude. And then you blink. And I Nova here to collect all them, give them time to catch up. And you just keep running. So right now you'll see that these are catching up a little bit. I usually rank one blizzard here just for a second to try to slow a little bit of stuff. If things get by, it's not a big deal. Um, I counterspell that far dude over there. I reapply my ice armor right here. So I make sure I don't take any damage. I fire blast this dude and then I instantly blink over here. This will give me a lot of separation. Uh, so hopefully, you know, at this point you you basically should never take damage again. Uh, Everything is just kind of following you. So if you have an extra mage, this is more helpful. Like it's more beneficial if you have any other mage in your group that like wants to help with a rank one blizzard at the end, but you don't need them. So right here, I'm going to reapply my Ice Barrier as I'm jumping down. I'm going to blink here. Rank 1 Frostbolt this far dude. Target this Trickster, and then I'm going to move up here. And right here, I'll just Rank 1 Blizzard right here to slow them as much as I can. And then I will Counterspell that guy, and I'll move up. So I try to pull this guy, because why not? And then I blink here. Sometimes this, there's always this one that'll get by, which is not a big deal, but I slow them a little bit. Rank 1 Arcane Explosion, these two. And then I Ice Barrier again here. And then I Blink here. Usually I have my Blink up right there. Pull these two. You can usually give a little bit of leeway, so you don't hit, get hit right there, and then you just jump off. So right now is where I reapply, I do Mage Armor, because now you should never get hit again. Usually I'll have like a an ice barrier, but it's not a huge deal because right now you're just doing rank one to try to slow things. So right now I kind of take the time to get things really bunched up. If things come to you and make it all the way through like this borer is right now, it's not a big deal. You just kind of let him, you know, you're just collecting and then you just know over there. So you'll notice that they're all kind of coming, they're all kind of close together. So I just run. I don't really blink at all here. Um, as I'm doing this, I'll reapply Dampen Magic just for later on. You notice I have full mana. Uh, Sometimes my health is a little low. I don't bandage, I just use a, a superior health potion because they drop in here all the time. You'll have a ton of them. Uh, so right here, I just jump down. I'll blink a little bit just to give me some separation. And I'll just blizzard here again. So now that we're about at the end, you'll see what happens. 
So they're all fairly stacked up right there. Did okay. So I blink here. Right here is where I reapply my frost armor. Alright, sorry, ice barrier. And this is where it gets the trickiest, in my opinion, because a lot of it depends on the lizard. So right here, you always want to blink over this little crack here, because they can melee you from down below. So you notice that there's another mage over here. And, but right here, you just... You, right here is the best spot to put it. So you'll notice that they're all just being slowed. And where you always want to try to get the very front, you know, mob. You always want to try to keep Blizzard on them as much as you can. So you'll notice that these are all attacking me with nature resist. You don't, it doesn't break your ice barrier that much. Um, so right here I move to the left a little bit. So that they all start running up. You'll notice that I'm just, you know, AOing. No big deal. So right here you jump onto this little platform. And then you quickly Blizzard again right on top of the pack. So this will make them come back down. So you just keep Blizzard directly on top of the pack and it'll keep them slowed. If they come back down, they'll come right below you and melee you from down below. Which if they do that, if they get too close, that's that's where it could be a, a problem. But you could just jump right back up and then they'll start coming right back up. And that's basically the whole thing. If for some reason you're pulling all these and they come back up, um, or they're even coming down too fast, what you can do is you can just run right back down and basically do a reset. Um, right back down the hallway and just come, bu come back because the run back in here is a shithole so you don't want to you really don't want to die but uh yeah uh, that's it